Hello there, it's me, Sari, here again, and today I'm here to show you a couple of new projects that I've got home. First off, I decided on giving this one a go. It's a crocodile, but it's a smaller size in the handle. If I compare these, you can see the difference, especially when I put them on top of each other. You see that the pink one is a bit bigger, which does... Uh, Need. I mean, you do need a, need a pretty good a grip on your hand. Whilst this one really no, lies nicely in the hand, and it's just really easy to just do the punching and putting the eyelets in. And then I saw these wonderful stamps from Kaiser Craft, and they are just bold, simple stamps about Christmas. Three different sets, and then there are some other stamps that I couldn't resist getting. So there is something about love at Christmas. So there's actually four sets of Christmas there, Christmas feeling. And then we have something about friendship and we got something about um, birthdays and such. And they all have some really nice statements actually. And here are three different ones, I mean difference in size. Here are four actually about friendship. Here are something about here is something about dreams, dare to dream big. And here is something about life and it's a big stamp, really nice for a background. Here is something about a birthday and there are three of them. Today is your day. Life isn't tied with a bow, but it's still a gift. I really like that one. Here is something about you. Four different state, state statements there. Confidence. There is something like that as well about life there. Smile. And pretty little things. And uh, way of life. And hip hip hooray! It's your birthday, so there, there are three different ones. And then I got myself a set of new dies from Spellbinders. And this one is called 2013 Heirloom Ornament. And there are four different dies in this set. And I used the second biggest to die cut this one. After having stamped one of those stamps there. Believing the magic of Christmas. And then I inked it up with some fired brick and a distress ink tool. And then I covered it up with some faded jeans so it sort of turned purple, didn't it? So I was thinking that had I done some embossing before with an embossing powder and such, this one could have turned out really nicely. So it's, that's something I could try out. And I really like the way that it actually die cuts the hole for me there. And in this way you can put in any kind of stamp in this, in this opening really and since you've got four different sizes you can actually go for the big big statements or the small statements and I'm hoping I'll be able to use these for my Christmas cards that are to come during the fall here so that's a little bit from me Kaiser Craft stamps I really do like them clear stamps really easy to work with and even if you have had this die cut thing die cut before, you could actually do the stamping afterwards because you see exactly where you put your stamp. All right, my voice got hoarse all of a sudden, so I think it's a sign for me to stop. I hope you have a splendid time until I see you again. Bye bye.